Hey guys, it's Pofi Bricks. Before I start this video, according to YouTube statistics, only 26% of all people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. If you like the videos, please consider subscribing because you can always undo it later. Hey guys, it's Pofi Bricks, and welcome to another video on my channel. So in this video, I'm going to be ranking my top 10 favorite Lego Star Wars minifigures that I own. The only criteria is for this for this is that they have to be official Lego minifigures, can't be clone army customs or anything like that, or AB figures, and they have to be in my collection, which means I just personally have to own them. Uh, I'm okay with the accessories being random and stuff, but I'm still considering them like the main figure that they're supposed to be. So guys, let's get into that list with number 10. So here for number 10, we have Pong Krell. Now I know what you're gonna say, boo Pong Krell, all my homies hate Pong Krell. That's sort of the cool thing to say, but um, I really like this minifigure personally. Um, his dual bladed lightsabers are pretty cool. His uh, custom molded headpiece is really awesome. And yeah, he's just overall a cool minifigure, even though his character is a bit of a meanie in the show. Which, in case you haven't gotten to the Umbara arc in Clone Wars, even though the show's been out for a good 13 years now, I won't spoil it for you. Let's move on to number 9. Number 9, we have Poggle the Lesser. He came in one set, that being the uh, Geonosian Duel, I believe. Um, between Yoda and Count Dooku. He, he was one of four minifigures, Yoda, Count Dooku, a droid, and then him. I really love this minifigure because he's very different from any other Gain Oceans we've got. And um, he just has really nice torso printing. Um, my one issue with him, and he probably would've been ranked higher on this list actually, like maybe one or two spots, is that his head is made of the soft rubber, which I'm okay with, it just, doesn't stay on well because the wings sort of push it off like you see with just a little bit of a push it will come off yeah like that but as you can see the torso print is very nice he also has some back printing um yeah that's where my care for this minifigure let's move on to number eight so here we have minifigure number eight oh or i guess number three technically but eighth place here we have the Commando Droid. This is just the basic Commando Droid from the uh, Battle Pack, not the 501st Scout Walker. Walker. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, he uses the Super Battle Droid legs and uh, the regular droid arms and body, but his own custom uh, headpiece. Some nice molding. No printing on the back, obviously, for any droids. But, um... He's not the only type of droid on this list, I will say that. And he has this really nice printing of the red dot. Um, only came in one set, which is always cool for minifigures. Uh, because it just means he's more exclusive, like the rest of these minifigures on the list so far. Let's move on to minifigure number 7. So the number 7 spot, uh, we have a minifigure who is actually in two sets. Oh. That being the 500, or not, <laughs> the Rebel Scout Trooper. This is a very cool minifigure, um, nice torso printing on the front, none on the back, obviously, but he's one of my personal favorites. I have quite a lot of him because I used to build a lot of Rebel Mocks, and I, one of my favorite scenes from all of Star Wars is the, um, scene from Rogue One where Darth Vader, uh, he yeets a bunch of these guys, let's say, to keep it sort of family friendly, but yeah, things don't go well for these guys in that movie. Let's move on to number six. So at the number six spot, here we have the clone Coruscant Guard Trooper, aka the Red Shock Trooper. Um, really cool minifigure. My favorite of all of the uh, old uh, 2013, 2014 clone minifigures um, for the Clone Wars style. Uh, even though uh, Wolfpack Trooper wouldn't have beaten it. If I actually owned one of those, it probably would have made it on this list. But unfortunately, I don't. They're a fairly rare minifigure, fairly expensive. I don't really want to waste my money on. So this is a really cool minifigure. He just uses the basic um, clone printing in red. A basic helmet and stuff. His blaster is a clone of me customs, but that's not important. 
nice leg printing, red, red arms. I think too special, just a really nice figure. So let's move on to number five. At number five here, we have uh, technically the only Jedi on the list because Pon Krell, um, if you know, you know. Uh, but yeah, here, here we have episode two, Anakin Skywalker. I picked this over episode three because I don't think Lego's been using the correct hair for the episode three one. I think they should use the serious black hair for them. But my opinion probably isn't of most kids, uh, adult fans of Lego, and of Lego designers, so that's okay. But I do think this episode two Anakin is really nice. I love his brown torso printing with the uh, Padawan braid there and the Jedi supplies on his belt. Turn him around, he also has some back printing. Uh, he has double two faces actually, with the eyebrows corresponding fairly well to the actual hair color, which you don't see too often. And even though a lot of people don't like episode two because it has really just blatantly bad acting by Hayden Christensen and a few other actors, um, I personally enjoy it as it is. So let's move on to spot number four. At number four, here we have the basic first ever minifigure made for Lego Star Wars, the B1 Battle Droid. So this minifigure, uh, it's been out since 1999. The only change they've ever made was adding this straight arm. They used to just have two curved arms. This is so the, he could hold the blaster straight up like this instead of sideways, which looks kind of wonky like this. So there's really not much to say about this minifigure. He's come in so many sets that I really couldn't list them all off for you. And it's just a really cool minifigure. And although it's very basic, I still love it. The Separatists are my favorite. That's why I'm building the big Separatist Dreadnought. Check out that series if you haven't. Um, and yeah, I'm definitely going to be using a ton of these guys in that mock. So that's why I like them so much. All right, guys, coming to the top three now. Here we have my third place spot, the new Ahsoka's clone trooper, AKA the 332nd uh, Battalion clone trooper, or a uh, 332nd Legion Battalion, I don't know. Um, or, uh, I know the word, I just can't remember it. 332nd, mm, it's like division. There we go, 332nd division. No, it's not. I don't know what it is, but that's okay. So, um, yeah, this is a really nice minifigure. It has the awesome 501st Legion body on it. And the legs also, which have the nice toe printing, even though it's random, it's still a cool thing to see on clones. And then the helmet, obviously, is very unique because it has that Ahsoka um, sort of uh, style that all the clones painted their helmet in to honor her in season seven. It's not really a spoiler since it's the beginning of an episode. But yeah, here I'll turn it around. Just her overall, a really cool minifigure. That, um, although it's very new, I still like it, even though most of the figures on this list are old. Alright guys, let's get into number two. So this minifigure is just one, one of my absolute favorites. Um, this is the plain phase two clone trooper, or as I would like to call him the clone trooper uh it's just i don't really know why i like it so much i just love the way they did that helmet printing and it looks so much better than those gian ocean or 212 or um any of the other phase two realistics that they did like the kashyyyk one because it just i don't know it just looks so clean almost even though it has the um phase one body which most which all these guys did anyway it's just a really clean minifigure, and it's so disappointing that we only got it in one set. And I would love to see it again, even though I doubt it. But we did see it with a new body print, or torso print, in the um, Star Wars, the Complete Saga, or Sa Skywalker Saga, the video game trailer. So hopefully, hopefully we'll get it in a set next year, even though I strongly doubt it. Okay guys, so here we are, going to number one. Now, you might know what it is because of my, um, well, you just might know. I've used this guy in a mock or two before, and, um, if you've ever been to my channel, you've seen him around here before, whether it's in my intro or my icon. Here is the Mandalorian Super Commando at spot number one. 
easily one of my favorite Star Wars minifigures. Amazing printing on all sides. The gunmetal gray helmet looks amazing. I didn't put his jetpack on, but he also has one of those. I just wanted to show you the torso print. Or, yeah, torso print. Uh, the arms and legs go really well with him. And yeah, it's just an awesome minifigure. So guys, let's make sure for this video. It's been Foley Bricks. Sorry it's a little longer than usual, but I just wanted to make a top 10. Maybe next time I'll rank the years of Lego Star Wars or Star Wars movies. Um, leave your suggestions in the comments, even though I don't think they'll be turned on. But yeah, guys, so this has been Pokey Bricks. Thanks for watching, and have a good one.